everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another super cute little Halloween to share with you. I've got these little jack-o'-lantern guys. If you want to how to make them, stick around. i show you how. Thank y'all so much for being here each week. I really appreciate you. Okay, for the legs, I'm going to start with two corks per leg. They measure one and a half inches a piece. And I'm just going to drill a hole right through the center of them with a quarter inch drill bit. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can spin them to line them up once you get this done. But just go all the way through on all four of them. Then you're going to take two quarter inch by six inch dowel sticks and just sharpen one end. For the shoes, I'm using these pre-made tennis shoes. You can get these at AliExpress and Amazon. I'll give you the links. And then I'm going to put two 3 8 inch nuts in each one of them down into the toe. And this will give it just the perfect amount of weight so that it does stand up good. Now, if you want to, you could put a rock in there or anything that's a little bit heavy. But you do want to add some weight. And then go ahead and open your shoes all the way up and we're going to glue one of the corks into the very back. Just make sure that it goes all the way into the back and that it touches the back of the shoe. You want to make sure that it does stand up straight. And then I'm going to take some um, stuffing and I'm going to stuff the rest of the shoe to give it some body so it does look like a full shoe. And just add enough stuffing so that it does look like there's actually a foot in there. And then go ahead and lace them up and then just tie them in a bow. And then do the same thing with the other shoe. The legs, we're going to take our cork and we're going to run our dowel stick through it. And we're going to come all the way down till it's got about a half to three quarters of an inch hanging out the bottom. Now, if it's hard on your hands, you can grab some pliers and just kind of twist it and that'll work real well as well. I found a much easier way. Just go ahead and set it on your workspace and just push it down. We're going to attach it to the shoes. Just go put a little glue inside and go ahead and push it on down and do the same thing with the other shoe. Just make sure it does stand up straight. And then just make sure that they are even. The pants legs, I'm just going to cut the bottom of an old pair of blue jeans off. I'm going to cut this at four and three quarter by three and three quarter. Now, if you aren't using a pair of blue jeans, you need to go ahead and allow for a bottom hem. And then I'm going to go ahead and hem up one side so I'll have a nice finished edge on the back part. And then I'm just going to come around to the back part of the shoe and I'm just going to glue this down to the bottom. And then I had it a little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit off, and then I'll show you the final length here. So they only need to be two and three quarter inches tall. And then go ahead and start in the back and then glue that down, and then we'll overflap the other side and glue it over the top. And then just go ahead and glue it all the way up. And you're going to do exactly the same thing with the other leg. The body, I'm going to use a pool noodle. And for the head, I'm going to use a little jack-o'-lantern I got at Walmart. It's a four inch and I'm just going to cut the handle off. I'm going to take a sharpened dowel stick and I'm going to poke a hole right in the center on both sides for the legs. Then I'm going to take the legs and I'm going to go ahead and cut little half inch slits all the way around down to the top part of that cork. And then we're just going to glue this over the top part of the cork. So once you get it done, go ahead and trim it so you can, when you put it onto the cork, it's like flush. And then just go ahead and put a little bit of glue right around the edge and go ahead and glue that down. Just make sure you do get it flat. 
and then do the same thing with the other leg. And you just want to make sure that both of your legs end up being the same exact height. So when you glue it in, just kind of make sure that you are doing them even. And then I'm going to trim my noodle down more because it was a little bit too long once I got the body put together. And this isn't going to end up measuring two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. And then just go ahead and put the legs right up on in there. You want to make sure that your right foot's on the right and your left foot's on the left. And then we are going to cut the sticks off because they are sticking through. Just go ahead and mark them and then go ahead and cut them off. And I'm just using a miter cutter to cut this. I'll give you the link for that in the description below. Go ahead and put your legs back in there just to make sure that your stick is short enough. And then go ahead and pull them out and glue them in. And we're just putting a little bit of glue on the top part of the blue jean and then up the stick a little bit. And then once you get the second leg in there, go ahead and push them down just to make sure that they are flat. Shirt, I'm taking a piece of fabric that measures eight and a quarter by four inches, and I'm gonna hem up the eight and a quarter inch side. This is gonna be the bottom of the shirt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hem up one side so that when I fold it over into the back, I have a nice finished seam in the back. And then just go ahead and start into the back of your noodle, glue it in, and then we're going to go ahead and fold the other side over. And we're coming down probably about a half inch from the bottom of the noodle. And then just glue the other side over the top of it. And then we're going to go ahead and just tuck all that in on the top part of the noodle and just glue that down. You just want to make sure that it is flat. Finish out the top. I'm just going to take a two and a quarter inch felt circle and I'm just going to glue it right to the top. That way you have a little bit of evenness when you put your um, head on top of it. Just push it down good. Make sure it's flat. Touch the head. I'm going to use both E6000 glue and hot glue. And I'm just going to put the E6000 right in the center and I'm going to put the hot glue around the edge. And then when you put it onto your body, go ahead and push it down and hold it until the, at least the hot glue dries. You want to make sure it stays in place and that it is flat. Make the hands. I'm going to use some oven baked clay and then I'm going to use a hand mold. And I'm using the larger of the two hands on this mold. And just roll your fingers up and go ahead and put those in first. And then you can put the rest of the hand in there. It just makes it a little bit easier if you open up the cavity, push those fingers in, and then finish out with the rest of it. And then you can just go ahead and pull all the excess off of it once you get it all in here. But you do want to make sure that your cavities are full. And then just start pulling it back with your finger until you get all the excess um, clay off of there. And then you're going to bake these for 25 minutes at 275 degrees. And do the other hand exactly the same way. you get your hands made go ahead and pull your pumpkin in and you're going to shape your hand around because he's going to be holding his head so go ahead and shape it so that it is right around the pumpkin's face then I'm going to take a six inch piece of wire and I'm just going to put it into each one of these hands and then I'm going to bake them with this wire in there at 275 degrees for 20 minutes just keep the shape of them right up there by its by his face Okay, next I'm just going to take a pool noodle, put it right inside of here, and I'm just going to make a mark where it's flush with the top part of that bucket, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And we'll glue this in here in just a little bit. 
top for the pumpkin I'm just going to take some black felt and I'm just going to kind of kind of wiggle it around almost like making a cloud and this is just going to be for like a hat just kind of make it uneven kind of like the top part of a pumpkin would be go ahead and cut a small circle right in the center just a small one kind of like a V shape and then just open it up and we're going to put a stem through this you don't want it too big just big enough to just to barely get that stem put through there where it's still snug and that's going to go right down in the top of his head. Give him some hair. I'm just going to cut that same felt shape right out of my faux fur. And I'm just kind of kind of going over the edge a little bit by about a, maybe a quarter of an inch. And you're cutting behind the faux fur only, not through the faux fur. Cleaning the excess fur off by combing it. And just comb it outward. Now we're going to go ahead and glue our pool noodle into the bottom part of the pumpkin head. And just make sure you are getting it centered. Glue the top onto the noodle. And then we're just going to stick our stem right down inside of there. And go ahead and glue all the way around the edge just to hold this in. Now I did not glue my stem in. If you're going to sell these at a craft fair or something like that, go ahead and glue it in because somebody's likely to pick it up from there and it may come out. And then I'm going to take that hair and I'm just going to cut it straight in half. It makes it a little bit easier to put to the top. And I'm going to glue half of it into the front and half of it into the back. And I'm just going to kind of do the curvature of the little hat that you got on there right now. And then just glue it straight down. And then put the back one on as well, exactly the same way. And I'm sweeping his hair all to the side. I thought he looked super cute like that. Attach the arms. I'm just going to come down one half inch from the ledge of that pumpkin and I'm just going to poke this on through here. Now you're going to have to cut these off a little bit. You don't want them so long, but you want them long enough that they do go across and hold in place. And then you just want to make sure that it fits his head. You want a lot of that inside of his body. And then just go ahead and cut them the same length. And you'll be able to feel, you just don't want it to go to the opposite side. And then just make sure that when you're doing it, your thumbs are facing forward. And then we're going to go ahead and put some sleeves on these. But if you push your little rod right through there onto the opposite side, you'll make sure that you do get them even. And they'll end up being about like that. And then we're going to add some sleeves. Move up the arms a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add a pipe cleaner and I'm going to fold it in four. And then you're going to do another one for the other arm exactly the same size. And then I trim my pipe cleaner down to two and a quarter of an inch. To attach the pipe cleaner to the arm, I'm just going to run it through this wire and I'm going to glue it right up against the bottom of the hand. The same thing with the second one. And then go ahead and glue your pipe cleaner to your wire. Sleeves, I'm going to take a piece of fabric that measures three and a quarter by two and seven eighths and I'm going to hem up the short side. And then with facing sides together we're going to go ahead and glue the long sides together. And then I'm just going to use some pliers to turn this right side out because it, it works real easy that way. Just kind of grab it and kind of pull it on through. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide my arm right up into the side of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this in. Just make sure you do slide it on down towards his thumb like that. And then go ahead and glue that in. And then we're going to glue the back part of it in at the top. And we're going to kind of squish it together at the top. And that way we'll be able to get it into the body. And you're going to do exactly the same thing with the other arm. And we're just going to kind of twist it till it goes in there. And then I'm going to actually use a dowel stick to kind of open it up a little bit more to get it in there a little bit better.
and then we're going to glue these in. Just make sure that your hand's facing upward and your thumb is facing outward. And then I'm going to pull the other one out. I'm going to put a dowel stick in there to kind of waller it out a little bit to make it to where I can get that arm in there a little bit tighter. And then once I get it exactly where I want it, I'm going to pull that one out too, and I'm going to go ahead and glue that one in as well. And then I'm just going to shape his arms right up and towards his face. Super easy. Okay, I think these guys turned out super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And if nobody's told you today, you're awesome.